Okay, so now we have to remove the back seat. It's very simple in these cars. There's a little, I've already done it actually, there's a little clip right here that holds the seat on this side and then on the other side. So all you really have to do is put your hand kind of in the middle of the passenger or the, the passenger footwell, reach underneath the seat and pull up and the seat will just, uh, it'll just come out. Now you can see those two little clips there. This one's actually missing. I got, I got a pretty old car, so. Um, and they have, if your car, this one just broke. Um, they have a little loop that sits there and you can pull back if you need to. Um, if you can find that, pull back on it with your index finger. So I just pull the seat out and set it on top of my car here like that. Next, um, this is the, the backrest. It is secured by two 10 millimeter bolts, one here and one on the other side here. And um, then once those are on, there's some, some clips in the back. So you have to push up and it just comes right out. Do that really quick. So I've got the, the two bolts out. Um, open your other door. It will make it a little easy if both sides are open. Kind of take the safety belts and put them to the side so they don't get in your way. And then all you have to do is, uh, there's not a lot of room with this camera, pull up and pull up and it just, it'll just come out. I, I got to use both hands to do this, so I'm going to turn the camera off. There we go. Uh, the back seat is out. You have this sound insulation. You can just uh, simply, you just roll that up and set it above behind the windshield there. And as long as your car is nice and clean, you can set your seats up on top. That's, that's a really easy place to put them up and out of your way. So I have pretty well removed the back seat. I'll next show you how to get at the fuel pump.